Hey YouTube, it's your girl Queen Alchemy and I'm coming today with a reading for the sign of Aquarius. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and uh, Venus for January 2020, Aquarius. Um, this is your reading. Um, let me see. If you would like to book a personal reading or purchase a candle, um, you can check the description bar um, for how you can contact me. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing the fixed signs and I'm going to do the, what did I say? The mutable signs and then I'm going to do the cardinal signs. I just said it on Leo's reading. So I'm going to do Leo, Aquarius, um, Taurus, and then Scorpio. And then we're going to move on, okay? Um, let me see. So this reading won't resonate for everybody. In my opinion, I would suggest that you watch your um, different placements, okay? Okay. So like if your moon sign is in something, you watch your moon sign, your sun sign, your ascendant sign, and your Venus. That's how I do it. Sometimes I watch my Venus. I don't watch my Venus all the time. Um, I would ask that you guys please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. I have the cards pulled for Aquarius already. But let's get, um, I'm going to pull you guys a goddess guidance card first. Let's see what Spear has to tell you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, crap. Y'all see that? Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see what Spear has to tell you guys. Let's see what Spear has to tell you guys. Okay. One card for Aquarius. Okay. One card for Aquarius. I'm rising in Venus. For January 2020, you guys, almost here. It's around the corner. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we go. Okay, we have Easy Does It, and that's another card. We also have Easy Does It because um, I'm clarifying the tarot with the Crystal Angels um, Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So we have Easy Does It both times, Aquarius. God bless you. It says, there is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of Aquarius are very anxious about something. Your life path is just something in general. It could be anything, a relationship, a job, anything that you're waiting on. Some of you guys could be waiting on money, whatever it is, but you guys are very anxious and it said to relax everything. And I always tell people that everything happens in divine timing, okay? Aquarius, so make sure you take me easy, okay? All right, so let's get into your reading. At the bottom of the tarot deck, we have the full card, you guys. All right. So the overall energy is new, like spirit, um, the universe is pushing you towards a new path in your life, a new cycle, possibly for some of you guys, um, just taking a leap of faith. You see how this guy looks like he's about to step off the cliff. He got his, he's looking up. He's not worried about anything. So that's the energy that you guys ignore my new. <laughs> um, this is the energy. This is the overall energy of Aquarius. Okay. So we have the Six of Cups, the Tower card, and the Nine of Swords, you guys. Um, but we have all the clarifiers. Also, Aquarius, um, after I do this spread, I'm going to pull three um, Romance Angel deck cards. I'm going to do a three-card spread for you guys, okay? Um, but the Six of Cups, some of you guys can be dealing with water signs, have water in your chart, or air signs. Just, you guys are air signs, so um, yeah. But the Six of Cups, I feel like some of you guys could be reminiscing um, missing someone, having like a heavy sense of nostalgia um, with the Six of Cups or wanting to reunite with somebody. Uh, for some of you Aquarius, this is like wanting to reunite with somebody. But you may have some fear that this person may not be receptive. You see how he's or whatever is offering, trying to come towards um, them. He has flowers in his hands. He has that cup ready he has a cup behind him he has in four cups he's ready to offer this but this person's like all oh, kind of turned to the side so i feel like that may be a fear for some of you guys right um that if you're for some these are for some this is i see a different way so just give me a minute so it's like um wanting to come back to a person a situation or just reminiscing but you know not sure how this other person feel and this person may very well feel like this um, it could have to do something with a tower moment that already happened, or you're going to have a tower moment, Aquarius. Um, buckle up. There might be a tower moment in the month of January. But 
everything happens for our good. A lot of times when we see things that happen and if they appear bad, you know, things are subjective a lot of times. So um, just know that um, certain things happen for our good, even if they don't seem too good. Okay. Clarifying the six of cups, we have spiritual path and passion and purpose. Hmm. Let me see, Aquarius. Spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and, and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So some of this, this, whatever this spiritual path is, passion and purpose you guys have, it could be connected to a water sign. A Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or this can be this aspect. Okay, so for some of you guys who have water in your chart, these, this is specifically for people who have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio in their chart and who are Aquarius. So you can be, so say you're a water sign, sun, and then you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart or vice versa. This is specifically for you. There may be a series of events they, they, they may be tied to your past, Aquarius, that, are, that is going to put you on the path to your passion and purpose, okay? So what you're supposed to be doing here in this life, right? Because with serendipity, it's like um, a series of events that may seem a little crazy or whacked out or just like, oh, my God, why is this happening? But then it works out for your oh your good. You know what I'm saying? Just like I was saying about with this tower card, Aquarius. So there may be some tower. <laughs> some of you guys <sighs> may experience more than one tower moment in the month of January. But with the serendipity card, this is letting you know that this is going to lead to your spiritual path and your purpose and your passion. Okay? Something that you are divinely called to do, and you're going to be passionate about Aquarius, okay? And you're going to be enthusiastic about it, okay? I'm telling you, this is some bomb-ass energy for this new decade, this new energy that's coming in, you guys. And I feel like a lot of you guys have been already feeling this. Um, So this tower card, you know... There may be this. Okay, so for some of you guys, this is like something coming to a major end. And it just may put you like in like a scrambling type of energy. Like, oh my God, what am I going to do? This is happening. This is like nobody's going to get hurt. No one is going to get hurt. But it just may throw you off your square, Aquarius. And you and you it's like starting over. See what I'm saying with the full card. Okay? A new beginning. And this is something that is divinely orchestrated by spirit, your spirit team, the divine, whoever you deem is your higher source, right? And more than one person, maybe it may be somebody else who may be affected by this tower moment. So it may be you and another person. It may be the end of a soul connection of a karmic situation, of a marriage, of a relationship, something like that. But it's going to come to an abrupt, rough end. It is. But like I said, it's going to put you on a path. And this person is, is definitely um, somebody that you have a lot of emotion for, a lot of love for, a lot of um, somebody that you, this could have been the only person in your life that you've ever opened up to, like, right? Oops. And ever truly loved. But the thing is that because you lacked self-love, you were never able to show this person how you truly, 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 truly felt about them. This is someone from your past that you've been knowing possibly for a while, Aquarius. Um, clarifying the tower card, we have bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal him in your heart. Like I said, this has definitely has to do with a love situation, somebody from your past, somebody from that you currently even have, you know, before or after this tower moment. Somebody you've been knowing for a while, somebody who you reconnected with, reunited with, or whatever. But it's saying with the bless your heart, reach out for support. A lot of you Aquariuses may um, opt to just. Hold on, 
a lot of you Aquariuses may opt to just um, kind of just stay to yourself and not reach out for support. But it's saying the best thing for you to do is reach out to support. Reach out to someone who you trust, um, who has your um, best intentions. Okay. Then we have chaos and conflict. Yeah, going along with that tower card. So this may be, this tower moment may carry on, this energy may carry on for a while. Um, I'm not saying a while, but just for a little time in January, okay? Some of you may or may not be in this energy now, I don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys are really devastated about this situation with the 33 breaking down to six. A lot of times six speaks about family to me. Two, there needs to be some balance as well. So six and two, it could be balanced for you guys. And a lot of you guys are really probably devastated over this. But you guys not going to stay in this energy of being devastated because you feel like this person was your other half. But like I said, you couldn't give this person what you wanted to because you, did, you couldn't give it to yourself. And like, that's what I'm saying. When people ask me about love and things like that, I would say you have to work on yourself first. You have to work on your self-love because there's an, it's impossible to give anybody any type of love or, you know, foundation or stability or, or anything like that or commitment if you don't love yourself. So you most definitely have to work on that. OK, Aquarius. But I, I think a lot of you guys already know that next to the tower card, we have the nine of swords. So like I said, this is being stressed out over this situation. Insomnia, like just like in a dev just being devastated, yeah. Aquarius. Oh. I'm sorry, Aquarius. Um hmm. what can you But you're going to come out of this, Aquarius, because it says love life, new or renewed romantic love is here for you. So a lot of you guys have new love and re-love. What the hell? <laughs> Some of you guys have new in or I'm sorry, new or renewed love coming back. I don't think it's this situation that ended with this tower moment. It could be somebody else. Somebody. OK, so some of you Aquarius, this could be a person who. With, okay, so it could like okay, so with the renewed love, so say you're not meeting anyone new, okay, but there could have been somebody in your life at one point who do you didn't think, mm, nah, I, I'm good. Like you know, maybe there wasn't enough physical attraction, maybe you guys didn't have enough in common, whatever it is. But this person may be a soulmate for you, okay? You know, we have more than one soulmate, but possibly for some of you Aquarius, okay. Um, and I think it's for some of you Aquarius is also letting you know that you need to be optimistic in general. Don't allow this energy to stay. OK, especially bringing in. I mean, coming into um, new year, new decade, this new energy that's coming in. Come out of this. OK, some of you guys, this is not even anxiety or insomnia. This is just really being in an overly mental state. You're already a water sign. Right. So you're just like overthinking, over analyzing over this. You're just. You're just putting too much mental strain on yourself, okay? So you're going to need to come out of that, okay? So you can be receptive to this new love possibly that's coming in for you, okay? And like I said, easy does it. Next to love life, the next card that came out after that is easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. Allow yourself to heal. Do some things to make yourself feel happy, Aquarius, okay? Don't overindulge. Don't go back to the old you, the things you used to do that wasn't that didn't serve you or anything like that. But just take some time for yourself, okay? Um, I've said this in other videos, you know what I'm saying? Like, do your affirmations in the mirror, you know what I mean? And tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am um, courageous. I am strong. I am successful. Do your um, your affirmations in the mirror, okay? But take it easy, okay? Because you don't want your mental, your physical health, or your spiritual health to be affected by this energy, this nine of swords. Under that, we have orphaned. 
So a lot of you guys could be feeling abandoned with this situation, Aquarius. Um, I think in my opinion, I'll say this, Aquarius, for a lot of you guys are like watching this, like, well, damn, okay. <laughs> everything happens for a reason. Like I said, okay, everything happens for a reason. If this energy, this tower moment has to happen, so you can clear the way for the rest of the year and you can have abundance and prosperity and wealth and everything else that you want, okay? Whatever it is. So allow this to pass. It's good that this is happening in the early part of the year, okay, Aquarius? There's some change. This is definitely change. This is for the better, but it's like clearing out that old energy, clearing out what doesn't serve you, what's not for you, what's in the past. It's passe. It's, it's just, it needs to pass, okay? So that's what I have for you, your general reading. Let's do your three card reading um, for the with the romance angel deck. Your love life. Let's see. Even though a lot of that was about your love life. All right, but let's see. Aquarius. Energy and Venus. Aquarius, summer rising in Venus. Oops. January 2020, three cards, please. Aquarius, summer rising in Venus. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta break these cards in. Okay, Aquarius, summer rising in Venus for January 2020. I love the way it sounds. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 2020. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can I have three cards of my Holy Spirit? Okay, let me get one more card. Oh, okay, see, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can I have one more card, please? Can I have one more card? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, I like these two cards already. All right. Okay. Here we go. Chemistry at the bottom of the deck. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. So like I said, a lot of you guys are going to be having new love come in, Aquarius. All right now. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the word. Word world i'm sorry y'all um so definitely you guys have new love coming in a lot of you aquarius is like i said there's a small um number of you guys that like i was saying with the, um, the other situation that it may be somebody that you in the past dealt with um shortly you know for a short period of time and you didn't think that you know whatever the purpose reason was and this person coming in but most of you guys are going to have new love okay and it is safe for you to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. But um, you guys need to retreat, you guys, especially with the situation with that tower moment. This is not saying that this is necessarily going to come. If some of you guys, this can be January energy. But a lot of you guys, this is pushing towards February and March in April, I just heard, okay? Because they want you to clear out the old energy, whatever. You, because look, relationships turn toxic when you take baggage from your past and bring it into your new you have to completely heal so a lot of you guys have to pass this energy and this love this is going to be a new love but it really may stay at a friendship level for a while until you 100 percent heal because a lot of you guys it may take some time and healing is no i think i just said that in leo's reading there's no um uh time like if everybody has different things we have to heal from so there's no specific timeline where you say, okay, this is going to take, this situation is going to take this long for you to heal from, okay? So you're going to have to pull back 
do some inner um some interflection. Okay, I heard that. Do some meditation. Do some um I'm going to come on tomorrow or New Year's Eve and I'm going to talk about um, spiritual baths. A lot of us need to take spiritual baths and you can take a few. OK, this is, you know, I'm just saying a lot of us need to clear our energy and our auras. Um, but definitely, Aquarius, you're going to have to pull back. You're going to have to disconnect. Um, if you have a family, if you have responsibilities, definitely you can't pull back from that. But other than that, you're going to have to take time for yourself. OK. Some of you guys are fearful of really going within and you guys need to do it, okay? Especially clearing out that energy, okay? Because a lot of that, that tower moment has a lot to do for some of you guys with karmic, your karmic relationships, okay? All right, Aquarius, I love you guys. I'll be back with your uh, mid-month reading. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to start doing um, weekly readings, but I love you guys. Peace.